Lions or lion dance is an essential part of the Lunar New Year celebrations, but it's not restricted to just this 15-day period. Lion dance can be seen at opening of new businesses, celebrating birthdays, or sometimes even weddings. So legends had it um, that way back in the 20th century um, in China, there's this beast called Nian, and it's terrorizing the village. And every year, once a year, it would descend upon the village and eat the crops, um, the villagers, the children, um, and you know anything that he could or the Nian could tear apart. Um, but this Nian is actually afraid of fire, the color red, and sound. So the villagers get it together. They decorated the houses with like red banners, dressed up in red, and uh, lit firecrackers. And they also found any plates or bowls or buckets to start clanging and making a huge ruckus to scare the uh, Nian away. So doing this for a couple of times, Nian has decided not to um, shop at a village, uh, sorry, at a village anymore. So, um, you know, um, if we talk about wordplay, they call it Guo Nian. That's what, you know, celebrating the new year or the new spring year um, or the new spring festival. Uh, Guo Nian, which means getting over the Nian or getting rid of the bed the bad luck as well. So fast forward to the present day now. Um, this is being replicated in the form of uh, Gong Fu and Wu Shu for lion dance. So there are different types of lions, the southern lions, um, as well as the northern lions. Um, the northern lions looks like um, Pekingese food dogs or those lions that you see outside guarding banks or temples. Um, you know, they're shaggy in, in their fur. Um, they usually have um, a green or red ribbon tied in their heads. Um, sometimes they're performed um, together with like little cubs. Um, they're always shown more playful with a huge metal ball, which they balance on and, and play with. Um, and the other, the most commonly seen is the Southern Lions, um, which is actually originated from Guangdong province in China. So there are two types of southern lions, uh, which is the Hok San and the Fuk San lions, and they're defined by their Kung Fu moves as well as how they look like, or the lion heads, how the lion heads look like. So every year in Singapore, uh, my godparents would actually invite a lion dance troupe um, to their home on the on the second day of Chinese New Year or Lunar New Year. Um, for uh, good luck and prosperity and, and we've got all family members and children from young to old who are gathered in her house to uh, enjoy this together with good food and drinks and lots of camaraderie so um, i remember when i was really young in singapore um, i would always go to my godparents place and i plant myself right in the front row so i could absorb all the positive good luck and energy that the lion is bouncing off um, but, you know, this year I couldn't partake in this uh, festivity in Singapore at all. Um, but my f family has actually um, channeled um, this good luck via videos and, and, and um, photos, which I'm going to share with you here today in this video. So this lion dance troupe um, that my godparents have engaged uh, for this year is the Singapore Leisheng Dragon and Lions uh, Dance Troupe. So Hoksan Lions are their forte. And the Hoksan lions are defined by the um, round horn on the head, a lower forehead, and uh, really flat lips, very duck-like, um, as well as the Hoksan lion is more elegant and they mimic a cat's movement. Um, and the color of the red lion symbols, um, symbolizes bravery as well. So the whole ceremony will start with what they call the bowing ceremony of the lion. Um, so it represents good luck and it's performed at the beginning as well as the end of the lion dance. The lion first rushes forward, dips you know, his head, um, moves his head clockwise and brushes his whiskers on the floor. Um, and he'll do this um, back and forth and retreating back to the original position um, rapidly in three rapid suggestions suggest sorry, <laughs> um, to demonstrate his humility and good nature. So, and then the next uh, act after the bowing ceremony, the lion will actually circle the room, sniffing the air like a cat, pawing the ground, scratching himself and acting surprised. And sometimes if the lion is playful, they'll engage with the crowd and as well with the kids as well. So then the lion will then do what they call tighting 
or picking off the auspicious grains. This is a word play of Thai, which means wealth as well in the Chinese language. Um, my godparents have prepared a plate that consists of uh, lettuce and oranges, a red packet or ang bao, um, filled with uh, money to actually reward the lion for his hard work. And the lion would then eat the lettuce and spit them out to the, the crowd, blessing them with good luck and good fortune for the whole year. So lots of training and preparation is done by Lei Sheng, um, Lion and Dance Troop, leading up to the Lunar New Year. So it's a lot of hard work and it's whole year um, worth of um, preparing the different steps and dance moves. Kung Fu moves is also involves lots of competition in place, uh, which Lei Sheng um, has taken part in as well. So something more interesting to note, and which has actually also personally drawn my attention um, after speaking to some of the troop members in Leisheng, is that they're trying to promote the culture of lion dance to neighboring countries. Um, and they're doing so in a form of educational um, scholarships for the less fortunate children in Thailand. Um, and also teaching them the art of lion and dragon dance, which is really amazing. So learning Kung Fu and lion dance have tamed the hearts of these children in Thailand um, and have given them a new purpose, um, as well as a motivation to do better in life. So thank you, Lei Sheng, um, for actually doing this and for what you've done and what you're trying to do for this. Uh, so it's really commendable. Um, so... I will actually um, add the um, links to the videos as well as the information um, for um, with regards to what Lei Sheng does and uh, um, a link to their page on Facebook as well. So I hope that you'll be able to check out Lei Sheng and the good that they're doing, especially to the kids in Thailand. It's really heartwarming to see um, a troop actually extending um, the heart out towards uh, these poor children who are less fortunate. So, um, you know, they're working contingency with Thailand Lei Sheng um, Lion Dance Troupe to do this. Um, so that, like I said, is very commendable. Once again, thank you for watching this video and I hope you really enjoyed this little um, snippet um, of what the Lion Dance is and what Lei Sheng is doing. And um, I hope you'll be able to check them out on Facebook as well. Thanks for your time and uh, I'll see you in my next video. Bye. Thank <laughs> you.